What's up, you guys? Let's jump into this kitchen today and whip up some absolutely delicious banana bread that is surely going to be a hit this Christmas for you guys, okay? So let's get into the kitchen. Let's get to cooking. Whipping up all of your favorite recipes. Simply food. You should know by now that you're in for a treat. Simply food. There's no other channel where you'd rather be. Simply food. Seafood, pasta, cakes, and pies. Sing and laugh and even cry. Like, like and share and hit subscribe. Simply food by T.Y. You're going to want to go in and give your eggs a light whisk and then we can sit those to the side so that they can remain room temperature. You're going to want all of the ingredients for this to be at room temperature. Now to our dry mixture, we're going to go ahead and add in the baking soda, the baking powder, the salt, as well as the cinnamon as well. And then you're going to give that a light mix as well. Now the reason why we're doing it like this is so that later on down the line we don't overwork our batter because uh, you don't want to end up with a tough bread. Once you get that nicely incorporated, you can go on ahead and set that to the side. Now let's talk about our bananas. Now I will say I was very surprised by these bananas because from the outside I was fully expecting them to be nice and mushy, which is really what you want when you make banana bread. But these bananas actually still looked really good. But nonetheless, they still turned out absolutely delicious. So no stress about that. Go on ahead and peel your three bananas. And then with the fork or potato masher, you want to mash those down until they're nice and smooth. Now this actually is a recipe that I found online years ago. I think it's from Divas Can Cook. Um, I love her content. Uh, but then I ended up one day, I wanted to experiment and I tried to add in something different and baby, I never looked back. So my secret ingredient that I'm letting y'all know about today is none other than vanilla pudding. You know it, the vanilla instant pudding. I add in one and a half tablespoons and I'm telling you, this as well as that buttermilk is going to make sure that you end up with a moist banana bread. It's not going to be dry, not going to be tough. Now, just make sure. And I know you guys are probably wondering why not use the banana flavor. To me, the artificial banana flavor is just unnecessary because you already have bananas in it. So there's really no need for that. Now, in a stand mixer or with, you know, if you're going to do it by hand, that's totally fine. Um, you want to go ahead and cream together your butter and your sugar until that's nice and smooth. And then once you get that nice and smooth, you can go on ahead and add in your egg mixture. Making sure that you're scraping down the sides because this batter is not really that much. Uh, some of it might get stuck to the bottom. So, you know, just keep an eye on that. And now we're gonna go ahead and add in our delicious vanilla, which is one and a half teaspoons of the vanilla. And now we're gonna add in that half a cup of the room temperature buttermilk. Again, making sure that we're just scraping down the sides. We want this to be nice and smooth before we add in our dry mixture. Now we can go ahead and incorporate the banana mixture. Give that a really, really good mix around until that's nice and smooth. And then we're going to start to add in our dry ingredients. Now, we want to make sure that we're adding this in in three parts so that we do not end up with, once again, a tough bread. So I'm just going to do it little by little. Now, 
Now this last part is really important because after I add in this last little bit of flour, once I can see that there's just a little bit of mixing left, I'm going to turn off the mixer. Do not overwork your dough or you are gonna end up with tough bread. So once you can see there's just a little bit of mixing left to do, turn it off and do the rest of it by hand so that you don't run the risk of over mixing your dough. Now that I have that nicely mixed together, I have my oven preheated at 325 degrees. I have a standard, um, you know, loaf pan here that I sprayed down with the perfect release flour spray. Flour, not olive oil, not canola oil, coconut oil, none of that. The flour spray. If you don't have that, go old school and just butter it down and then put some flour in it and shake off the excess, okay? So that it does not stick. You wanna give this a pound on the counter a few times just to get rid of any air bubbles, smooth it out. You're gonna pop this in the oven at 325 degrees for exactly one hour. If your oven is running hot, please make sure you keep an eye on it. It's gonna come out golden brown and then you're gonna sit it on a rack so that you can allow it to cool for about 10 minutes or so or just so that you're able to handle the pan with your bare hands. So roughly about 10 minutes or so, and it should be cool enough. Then you're gonna transfer it out of the baking dish, which it should come out just like butter, and you're gonna allow it to fully cool because as you'll be able to see in a few seconds, there'll still be a lot of steam coming off and you do not wanna cut into this bread while it's hot. Once you allow that to cool, roughly about 30, 40 minutes, baby, you got yourself some beautiful banana bread. And I know you guys are probably wondering, T.Y., why didn't you slice into it? We want to see it. It's because I actually gave this away, you guys. But thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Give it a thumbs up. And as always, y'all, baby, stay cute and take care and enjoy this deliciously sweet breakfast treat. Bye, guys.